us up for useless screaming scandal. You say we're fighting for no reason and that we only fail. If intelligence is a crime, then I belong in jail. No more, no more watching the world go by, my friends. Somebody gonna die if I see my tooth to cry again. Hawaiian man, Hawaiian land. I rap it for am and if you ask me why I rap Hawaiian, then I tell you because I can. You cannot understand, so you start dissing. The last person that tried to shut me up is still missing. This is a level, tell me why must we pay rent? If I happen to ignore you, it's because you're ignorant. Pigeon is the dialect that I select. When I talk, Iki or Eke or Lil Hawaii, but tell me, can you walk the walk? You say library, I say library. I tell you why I call it the library, because that's where they bury all the life. You can't believe everything you read. The words of Awakupuna is all you really need, and then you tell me that I'm arrogant, because I call you ignorant. When it's apparent that you're blaming me for your stupidity, when you should blame your parents. Hey, bro, that's the way it is, I'm not prejudiced, I'm just telling it like it is, not. the oldest brother of Colin and um, on behalf of our entire Ohana and all of our friends we are outraged that a federal agent sent by US DSS to protect the government officials during APEC would come to our Hawaii and take the life of our son and our brother it is incomprehensible to us that we and the people of Hawaii would allow anyone to carry a badge while drinking alcohol and fired three random shots into a crowded McDonald's, one killing my brother, the other two endangering innocent people. We are forever changed by this and never want this to ever happen to another one of our loved ones again. Hello, I'm the second oldest brother to call him. Today, July 11, we are going to put the USDSS on notice for delivering the first 1,400 signatures from our petition to fire Agent Didi. I continue to keep him in their employ. The U.S. DSS is declaring Colin's murder a good kill. As the retrial of Agent Didi begins, help us find justice and fight to ensure that he will never be able to be hide behind a badge again and kill another one of our sons, brothers, daughters, or sisters. Mahalo. I'm Colin's dad. All I got is to everybody. Mahalo for everything and thank you for everything. One last question. Is this bringing up all the emotions all over again? I know you've forever changed, but going to the trial again. Yes, it's bringing up the emotions again. It's just it's, it's like a repeat of what we went through last year. But hopefully this this time around, it's we've got a lot of love and support from a whole bunch of different groups that are here behind us, and as our brother watching above us as well, making sure we push through this and do this. So it is it's reoccurring, but it's also a, a good thing for us because of the support we have. Thank you. Thank you.
It's been a long time, but it feels like it hasn't been that long. We, we miss him every day. He's talked about every day. He's remembered every day. So, I don't know how we feel. We're still lost, empty. Not the same as we once were when he was around, I can say. That's about it. <laughs> well, well, we just, that's not for me to say, you know, that's, I mean, that, 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 that's what the justice system is for, but we can, we can do what we're doing, make sure everybody knows what's going on, people hear, hear about it, and know what we're trying to do, and maybe um, get in their minds that they wouldn't want that to happen to their child or their loved ones as well. So if, do we have a better chance? I'd love to say we have a better chance with the support and love we have from everybody, but in the end that's not enough. Any requests? I guess the one request we're asking the federal government is to fire the man that did what he did. By, we tried to deliver the petitions, we didn't accept the petitions, and um, that's, that's the only request we really have is to fire somebody that um, murdered my brother and he's, he's still allowed to have his job, which is not very in our right. The biggest thing we want is um, justice for Colin. That's, that's what it's for, you know. That's what, I mean, there's a bigger picture, but this is just the beginning and the stepping stone of where we are trying to be and where we want to be. We are here to stand for justice, not just for the elder Sohana, but for all of us, because we truly believe that Colin could have been any one of our sons and any one of our daughters. He did nothing wrong. He was a little kolohe, but he could never did a single thing that would warrant being executed. Mahalo. I'd like to bring up Ohana Koro. Oh, wait, actually, I'd like to bring up um, Women's Voices, Women's Speak. Hello, everybody. Um, I have members of uh, Women's Voices, Women's Speak. We're a Hawaii chapter of the international organization. It's International Women Against Militarism. And we're very proud to be here uh, by your side. We have a statement, and we're going to be reading it. There are four of us that are going to be presenting our statement. Hello, everybody. When our women's voices when they speak, and we are here today to express our support for the family of Colin Elders. It is with heavy hearts that we deliver this statement. We know that their grief has surely not lessened since that horrible night in November 2011 when this precious young person was brutally murdered. No amount of solidarity no amount of solidarity will bring back this son, brother, cousin, friend. Nevertheless, we know that at times like these, we must let this family know that they do not grieve alone. This Kanaka Maui family does not walk to that American courthouse alone. As a compassionate community, we walk with this family today, encircling them with the care and protection of our bodies protection we could not offer to dear Colin that night Christopher Didi took his life away. Our friends at the Parents of Murdered Children recently reminded us that once your family has been impacted by deadly violence like this, you never feel secure again. Imagine that, to never feel secure again. That is how it feels when your child is murdered. Now imagine that it is the government, this illegal occupying government, who did the killing. And now that same government refuses to call it murder. As we march today, we know very little can make things better for the elders' family. But unfortunately, we are minded that there are many things that are making it worse. And going through two trials is surely making things worse. 
Not having great. Christopher Didi still on the job oh, with his dad, oh, carrying oh, his oh, gun, oh, is oh, making oh, things oh, worse. Oh, oh, and having to listen to media and the defense team make disparaging remarks about Colin oh, is making things worse. Oh, oh, why was Christopher Didi not tested for drugs and alcohol? Apparently, as a special agent, he could refuse to do so. Right. He also has the good fortune of being alive to tell the tale. But Colin, on the other hand, is subject to any number of allegations about his behavior that night, but he is no longer here to defend himself. This is a violation of his basic human rights and dignity. Well, we are outraged by his murder. We are also outraged by the way he's now being bombarded with these insults against his character. We are an organization that stands for genuine security. What does that mean to us? It means that we believe quality, food, water, housing, and education are the highest priorities for human beings to feel safe and secure in a genuine way. We also believe that people's fundamental human dignity should be honored and cultural identities respected. We're an organization that stands up against militarism and any notion that the U.S. military's presence is natural here. The APEC conference represents the opposite of these priorities. They represent the 1%, the mega rich, the corporations, those with the money to protect their assets and their agenda. And sure enough, a militarized piece a police force has hired was hired at great expense, at our expense, to protect their agenda. With Christopher Didi's help, they knew they could aim their guns at anyone suspected of getting in their way and shoot with impunity. Many of us did not know how serious they were about this agenda until they took calling away from us. Why is it important to think about security? because this government commits these heinous acts in the name of national security or regional security or public safety. And they depend on us not to complain or protest or call them out on their lies. But we are here to let them know we demand justice for Colin Elder. We demand genuine security, genuine peace and genuine sovereignty for our families, our communities and our precious island home. Ohana Koa, Nuclear Free and Independent Pacific. Aloha. Ohana Koa, Hawaii Chapter of Nuclear Free and Independent Hawaii and Pacific demands justice for Colin Elders and calls for the conviction of Secret Service Agent Didi for his murder of this young man. That he could move for dismissal on the ground that it was a good kill is a clear demonstration of our occupied status by the USA. Presently, over 20 countries are here for RIMPAC, practicing domination of the world in keeping with now I want you guys to remember this one now, okay? Pacific pivot. Obama said they were making a Pacific pivot. And remember this other one, TPT, the Trans-Pacific Partnership that's being negotiated right now. It allows secret treaties allowing plunder of our natural resources, minerals, and seabed drilling in our own home. We are surrounded by intense weaponry, sometimes in the form of massive tanks and submarines, other times hidden among us in plain clothes, drunk in a fast food restaurant, weapons hidden, aggressive against hostile. Holland could have been any of our sons or grandsons. 
out on the town, Solohe, targeted by Didi for using a word in our own mother tongue. Howling. Howling. It is racial profiling at its worst with tragic consequences. Like Trayvon Martin, like the historic political massacre, occupation and hegemony literally give the license to kill. We stand with the eldest Ohana. Stand with you in your quest for justice. Is here to speak on behalf of our wonderful lovely. Anai Mikelo Hakako Pakahia Pau. E Nola Kikahi Moho, Okohova Ipai Aina Kokako Lahui Kokako Aupuni, Ke Olelo Ni Makokako Olelo Makuahine, Ke Heva Kahana O Amilika, Ke Heva Kahana O Kia Kanaka Ino O Diri, Ai Ho Iana Kapono. Aloha Kako. I'm here speaking on behalf of our Aupuni, the rightful kingdom, Lahui Kohaba Ipai Aina. Colin was a Hawaiian kingdom subject. He was one of ours. And the injustice that happened to him took place because of the United States and their presence here in Hawaii. He's not the first and he's not the last of many who have been done wrong by America. We're here to stand and say, Aole. Aole. We're here to stand and say, Kue. Kue. We're here to stand in Aloha, our Aina, and Aloha, our brothers and sisters. Aye. What has been done will never be justified. But we pule and we ask for everybody's pule in Hawaii and their prayer that Pono and justice will come, that America will deoccupy Hawaii, that Didi will be behind bars for hundreds of years, and that our Aupuni will be set and our flags will fly again in the one place that it can fly, in Hawaii Ine. Aloha kako. We're going to do a quick pule, and then followed by that, for, um, this is the end of the official part of it, but we're going to remain here for questions and answers by the press after we put it.
I think a lot of people really connect to um, Colin and they remind, he reminds us so much of our own family, our own friends and um, the way the media and the way the prosecutor has portrayed him has been really bad and really unfair. So um, we wanted to come and share more of what he was really like. Aloha. No consent, never. No Department of Interior. No treaty, never. No Department of Interior. No session of our citizenship. No Department of Interior. No justice for our people for 120 years. No to the Department of Interior. No lawful authority to sit, sit upon our people and step upon our necks. No to the Department of Interior. My first question is, why are you here? So we got to think. Why have they come here? All of a sudden, in their hearts, they felt good to come to Hawaii to service the Hawaiian community? See, there's an agenda going on right here. We got a maka'ala and wake up. But we can see, as you can say, we can see under the veil, the underwear, all dirty. <laughs> Who requested these hearings? Who self-anointed themselves to go to Washington, D.C. and call you guys to come here and speak on our behalf? Not us. See, that's the agenda. Who are these compradors? I want to know. Who are these impostors? Who are the cons? See, they have you guys duped. They have you guys committing fraud. Even worse, these impostors betraying our people. They're pulling a scam. They're hoping to jip, deceive, defraud, bamboos our people to circumvent our people's right to our true political status, nationality, citizenship, and rights to self-determination. So I want to know who. We have a right to know who they are. Because our people have a right to know who they are. See, I'm not against the DOI. But I'm against anti-lies, fraud, deceit, dehumanization, and exploitation. And all you gotta look is check the Department of Interior and their own history. They're a wicked and unholy history. Look at the people, the American Indians, the kind of genocide. Stepping on them, stepping on them, pissing on them for all these generations. And you guys sit and act as somehow you guys have some kind of great mandate. The mandate has been genocide upon these native peoples. How embarrassing. Look at the Micronesian brothers and sisters under the Department of Interior. <laughs> Nuclear radiation, bikini, Inuata, Rangala, destroyed guinea pigs for the American nuclear weaponry to play masters around the world. So we here to speak and represent for all of us who have been victims of people under the Department of Interior. You guys need to speak the truth. And I'm just going to end. I know I see power. Come on, my. Five more pages. I jump to the end here. All this is, all this is, as they tried for 120 years, they tried to Clorox us. They tried to bleach us. Bleach our brains. Clorox our souls. But you know what? We stain Kanaka. This Kanaka stain is too strong. And for 120 years, if it hasn't worked then, it's not going to work anymore. We will be free. We demand our humanity. We demand our place on this earth. This is Hawaii. Can we not say we are human beings? Cannot you see us as human beings? As Moses said unto Pharaoh, 
You as the representatives of Pharaoh, we say unto you, we demand, let and set our people free. Come on.